We just saw that in computer science, you might write a function like this. First, we name the function. In this case, we named our function decrease by 3. Then we create a spot for the input, which we call x, and put it in parentheses. And then we define what the output is going to be with this return statement. And then we write the output right here, x minus 3. But as you've probably come to realize over the course of this class, some people who do math a lot are a little bit lazier, like me. For one thing, in math, the name of the function is not usually nearly as inventive as it is in computer science. We can see that a programmer would call a function something like this, decrease by 3, that really describes what the function's doing. In math, though, our names for functions are really simple. In fact, the most common one is probably just the letter f. What programmers and mathematicians do in common, however, is that they still use the parentheses around what's going to be the input for the function. And of course, x does seem like a pretty great input. Now, the programmer has a return statement that represents what the output of this function is going to be when we run the program. But in math, we just create an equation. So if we want to create the decrease by 3 equation in math instead, we just write f of x equals x minus 3. The output is just that expression that we've often seen written to describe the dependent variable, showing how it depends on the independent variable. Now the way that we read the left-hand side of this equation right here is we say f of x. Now again, just like in programming, the parentheses here around the input do not mean multiplication. So the output of the function, the thing that's just equal to x minus 3, is this f of x over here. And remember, we used to say that the output was y if the input was x. So what we're really doing in functions is replacing the independent variable y with this new way of writing it, f of x. I think you'll see over time why this is a useful way of writing it. But it doesn't make the original way we learned any less valid. There are just different ways of expressing pretty similar things, assuming that this is a function. Now that you've seen how both computer science and mathematics would represent the same function in different ways, I'd like you to translate the first function that we talked about from Python into its mathematical form. So this is the function that we initially called increase by 2. I'd like the input to be x and the output to be x plus 2. I'd also like you to name the function f. So just like we did up here, write the mathematical form of the function down in this red box.